Hello and welcome back to another how to do the web tutorial. My name is Michelle and today we are continuing with our MailChimp series. Uh, so far we have set up a MailChimp account, we have created a list and imported some subscribers and we have sent our first email. Next on the agenda is how to actually have people subscribing while you sleep. Now if you have a, a website you can put, there's a couple of different options, you can um, have a click here to join our newsletter button and link that to the MailChimp page or you can embed the sign up box into your page. So I'm going to go over both options. Um, we're, right now we are in the dashboard as we have now sent a email. This, uh, the dashboard has changed to, um, to show you the stats of the recent email that we've sent out. Um, so what we're going to do now is go back into our lists option. Now in choose the list that we're wanting to have people join us from and we're going to go to sign up forms. Now in the sign up forms um, we're going to uh, lots of different options and we're just going to do a, a general form to start off with and what a general form is, is when I was saying where people go to a, you click on a button and it takes you into MailChimp. So, um, right now the basic list just looks like this. And as in the past, we can um, change the design, change the colors and all of that sort of thing under the, um, under here and again that is just using those point and clicks um, and, oh. so I'm just going to make the background to match the background of the email and up here I'm going to pop in don't ask me why that thing hasn't gone away it's now going to be annoying but anyway um please oops not in capitals please enter your details to join our email list and find out when new videos have been posted so you can put pictures in here, you can do all sorts of fancy fluffy things in there if you wish to, but right now that is all I'm putting in there. Now as you see, because I've created a dark background, the name of the list is uh, looking pretty ugly, to be really honest. Um, and I don't want it saying test list anymore, because test list was the name that I gave it in the in the video when I created it but um, I'm going to change that to newsletter subscription and you can change that to anything you like and I'm also what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that color of the wording white now, the reason I'm doing that is because we've now got a black background. So it has disappeared, but it is still there. So save that and allow it to change. There we go. Newsletter subscription. Please enter your details to join our email list and find out when new videos have been posted. And, you know, people can add their whole thing. Now, um, again, you can change the header, the out wrapper, blah blah blah. Go ahead and have a play. What the build it section is, is 
um, adding new fields, subtracting old fields. Now, I've got all of those different fields in there because I imported a list. I may not wish to have to have them all put in. I may may not um, may just want them to put in their email address and their first and last names. So I can click on any one of these and click delete and it will say are you sure you wish to delete this because what you're actually doing there is deleting the whole field from the whole list okay I'm not choosing that but you can go through but you can also make that field over here make it a hidden field okay and then we're going to go city Make that a hidden field. Make state. Make that a hidden field. Postcode. That a hidden key field. I'm going to ask them to put in their country though. Now for that, for this reason only, just because I want to know where people are coming from. Um, and also if I'm going to a country to teach a class, I can pull that list. If they haven't had to put it, if they haven't put it in there. I don't have that information. Um, so go ahead and leave whichever fields you wish to leave in just by hiding them. Okay. But you do, once you, when you do a change like that, you'll notice that I haven't been doing it and it hasn't been changing. You actually have to save the field before you move on to another one. Oh, look, it's now got hidden. So I could go through each of those and hide them, which I'm not going to do, because I want all the information I can get. So unhide that, and let's just leave it as it is. So there we have our form, what it looks like, how it works. So we've created that. You see here it says sign up form URL. That is a the link that you would want to use. Say for example, I want to create a new section in my website. And just ignore all of the bits on how I'm creating that new section because not all of you will be using the system. Uh, but click to sign up, hide the title, select a position, and I would like that in the On the right hand side, that's the one I wanted. Okay, now in here I am going to put click here to subscribe to our newsletter. I'm going to highlight that and create a link to this URL that I've just copied from MailChimp. Pop that in there and open it in a new frame, new window. And go ahead and save that. Now if we go to my how to do the web.com website You'll see here, click here to subscribe to our new newsletter. That wasn't there before. Clever, eh? So we click on that and ta-da! Newsletter subscription. Oh, look, there's a spelling mistake for us. So what we do is we jump back into here. We edit this. 
pop in the we need to find it first subscription okay save that so that's now saved that there and if I refresh that whoop, looks there's there so it just automatically changes it all you've got to do is use that URL that they give you there and it automatically links to there okay so so that's how you do it just in a form that I will open up on a separate page now what we're going to do is to go back to the sign up forms and go embedded forms now embedded forms is where we can actually have the form as part of our um, as part of our website so uh, we can have a classic form and that will put all those fields in um, you can click here and change it to only required fields so in my list the only required field is the email address um, or okay so you can have an either or situation um, and as you can see here you can right change that to whatever you want it to say now super slim is an is literally just that all it gives them is the option to put in the email address you can change this subscribe to our mailing list but that's about it in here you can say how wide you want it to be so for this example I'm gonna make it a hundred and 150 wide okay and um, see how it makes it much skinnier which if you look at my website that's going to fit maybe maybe we can go to 180 let's see that's made it a little bit wider a little bit less cramped up in this bit here and it gives them still space to put that in there so then you scroll down and you copy and paste this bit of HTML code into your website now if you don't know how to use HTML, HTML code um, that is a totally different story once again so save and new uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. this one is embedded I don't want that listed there I'm going to put right in there again and then I'm going to go into the HTML code button and paste that in okay and then I'm going to save that Go back into the website once it's finished saving and refresh. And ta da! Look at this! Subscribe to our mailing list. And I'm going to put in Bub. No, I'll put in something that I actually do have an email address for that's not already in the mailing list. What, what email addresses have I still got? Um, how to do the web at gmail.com that one's not already in there so subscribe almost finished we need to confirm your email address so we've sent you an email and so very soon I will get a new email come through so look there it is me it says that it's come from me because uh, it's the same email address so here's that the test 
This is where the name of your list will show up. So please, please, please choose the name of your list carefully and you can go in and change it in the future. So yes, subscribe me to this list. Notice how it's carried that color coding that we set up earlier through. And then continue to our website. Ta-da! There we are. So, so there you go. Um, if you're grateful for this video, please replay it and click on the ad. Um, or you can go to our website and um, click on the PayPal donate button. Um, I look forward to having you with us on for future videos. And uh, thanks for joining us on how to do the web.